Hello students, welcome back in your science class with me, Shraddha Shukla. I hope you all are doing good at home. But as I remi remind you in every class, please don't forget to follow the safety rules. Okay? Students, in the last class, we have talked about the safety rules at home. You should follow those rules at home. But uh, today we are going to talk about the safety rules on road. Okay? So let's start. Rule number one is follow the traffic rules, traffic lights and traffic signs. Okay? First traffic rule that you have to follow that is walk on the left side of the road only. Okay? Now, second one is walk on the footpath only. You should not walk on the main road, you know, because vehicles are going from them. Now, Cross the road on zebra crossing, use a subway or an overhead bridge. If you need to cross the road, please use zebra crossing. But before that, remember this. If the traffic light is red, only then you can cross the zebra crossing. Okay? Or you can use a subway or an overhead bridge. Okay? Now, rule number four. Look at your right, left, then right again. If it is safe, only then cross the road. First, look at your right side, then your left side, then right again. If it is safe to cross the road, only then cross it. Okay? Now, rule number five is do not play on the road or do not rush on the road. Okay? This rule you should follow. Because okay, students, the second topic is safety in school. So, for this, I'm discussing this topic because uh, the students of boarding school, they um, spend most of their time in school campus. That is why this is very necessary for our children, you know. So, uh, the rule number one is do not climb on desk and chair, okay. You might fall, okay. So, number two, do not run up and down on stairs. You might get slipped and hurt yourself, okay. Do not play with sharp objects like compass or pointed pencils or the steel scale, you know. You should avoid playing with those things. Now, number four, if you do not know how to swim, use a tube and stay in shallow end of the pool, okay. And uh, to avoid any kind of accident, please stay with your trainer only. Now, rule number five, even if you are a good swimmer, do not go alone for swimming, okay. Accidents can happen anytime, anywhere. That is why you should go either with your trainer or a teacher or with your friend, even if you are a good swimmer, okay? Students, the next topic that is the first aid is really very important for whole of your life, okay? It's not uh, important only for your life, it is for other person also. So, uh, how do you know what is first aid? Well, first aid is the first immediate help given to an injured person and it can be given anywhere, whether you are in school, on road or anywhere. So, what is the definition? The immediate help given to an injured person is known as the first aid. Okay? Now, before uh, giving the first aid, you have to stay calm and composed and act as fast as you can. Why is it so necessary to stay calm? Because you might get confused. Okay? So, you have to act really fast. Do as much as you know or call an ender for help. Okay? Do whatever you want, whatever you need to do, as much as you know. But if you can't help that person, call an elder immediately. Okay? Students, uh, the first, uh, first aid can be given in uh, four accidents such as cuts and wounds, burns, for faints, nose beating and for insect bites. Okay? So, we are going to discuss them one by one. The first aid for all of them. Okay, so the first one is the first aid for cuts and wounds. Okay, so the first thing you are going to do is wash your hand with soap and water and then wash the wound with an antiseptic liquid such as Dettol or Savlon. Okay, the second important thing you are going to do is cover the wound with bandage. Okay, and the third thing is Take the victim to the doctor if it is really necessary. Okay, students, so uh, the second accident is the burns. Okay, and the first aid for burns is first, wash the burn area with cold running water for 10 to 15 minutes or you can also put the ice cubes, okay, on that burn area. This will prevent the blisters on the skin, okay. Now, apply burn all, cool down the area, okay? 
third thing is if the burn is severe or it's major then take the victim to the doctor okay okay students the first aid for faints a person faints if the blood to the brain reduces the first aid for this is number one make the person lie down okay number two raise his or her legs above the height of the head this will help the blood to reach the brain faster okay raise his legs above the level of his head and this will increase the blood flow towards the brain okay now third is loosen the clothes of the victim and sprinkle some water on his or her forehead okay why is it so necessary to loosen the clothes because um, the uh, the victim can get some fresh air okay and then sprinkle some water on his or her forehead okay students next topic is nose bleeding and the first aid for nose bleeding is number one make the victim sit on the chair with the head leaning forward okay number two press both sides of the nostril and ask the victim to breathe through the mouth press both sides of the nostril and ask him to breathe from the mouth okay apply you can also apply an, an ice pack to stop the bleeding immediately okay okay students so the fifth point is insect bites okay so the first aid for insect bite step number one try to remove the sting by using a tweezer okay the insect can be a honeybee or any other insect okay so the first thing is to remove the sting number two apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream for instant relief okay the third point is apply calamine lotion to reduce itching or you can also use ice packs to reduce the swelling and if it is necessary you should call the doctor uh, the chapter has ended here and the exercise will be provided to you through whatsapp okay till then stay home stay safe